Hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Dog Simulator and we are back with our two big beautiful Great Danes, Fawn and Dane Stone the Great Dane, former cowboy and justice holder for the neighborhood. And we are back getting ready to uh, actually head out so that we can get Fawn up to level 10. And what happens when she reaches level 10? I'm hoping that's when we unlock the next slot and we'll be able to have puppies, but it might be level 15. There's only one way to find out and that means going out doo -doo -doo, going out with Fawn and Dane and roaming the city streets once more in search of all of the delicious trash cans aka doggy pinatas that we can possibly find. Let's go ahead and play. We're gonna praise, we're going to snuggle, we're gonna wrestle with with uh, Dane, and then I think that Dane's ready to like head out. So let's come over and grab some food. I don't know where our human is. We might kind of search for our human for just a second. She's not downstairs. We could check upstairs. She seems to be in two places, downstairs or upstairs, imagine that. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more food. I wanna eat everything out of this before we go. I'm still so disappointed that we cannot drink out of the toilet. Like that would have been hilarious. I would have been all over that. Dane is ready to go, but I really want to see where our human is. So let me like run upstairs really quickly. Or should I say jump up the stairs? <laughs> all right, so we're upstairs. There's our human. Okay, so she's all right. We'll go ahead, we'll rub on her. We'll go ahead and play with a toy. We'll get some treats. Cause that all gives a ton of experience. These are tiny little treats for a big old Great Dane, but you know what? It all counts. Okay, human, 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 give me my treats. Okay, hang on, hang on. Almost, there we go. <laughs> that seems like so much work just to eat one little treat. Dane, you're in my way again. Here, if you wanna wrestle, we'll go ahead and wrestle. All of that kind of builds up a little bit of experience. The experience of life joy love family oh my goodness there's a treat over here to you oh did she drop a bone for us no way wait can i play with that okay i don't think i can play with that all right well we'll head out let's go patrol our yard give it a good sniff sniff and make sure nothing has uh entered our territory since we were last here all right looking good in the back no more cats just wandering in acting like they roam our yard honestly <laughs> And then, oh, there's something to dig up over here. Yes, a bone. So let's see what's gonna happen, guys. Once we get up to level 10, hopefully we'll be able to have a puppy. We'll be able to have an adorable Great Dane puppy, which would be so exciting. Because as soon as we're done having some puppies then, with Fawn and Stone here, then we are gonna begin the next chapter with another dog, another dog breed, here in Ultimate Dog Simulator. Which, holy cat fight, what the heck? Did I just stumble on like the wild world of cats? Are we gonna get attacked by a bunch of cats if I keep going this way? You guys, I think I just like walked in. <laughs> on some sort of on some sort of cat colony one kitty cat two kitty cat three kitty cat four kitty cats Oh my gosh are those wait are those cats or are those raccoons? It's a cat versus raccoon battle. Oh my goodness <laughs> Come here, buddy. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Okay. I ran out of energy I can't get you all right, who is that? Is that like a chihuahua or a cat? It's raccoons. I really thought I like broke up a, a gathering of some kind of cats. <laughs> Can you imagine that warrior cat fanfic? A, a silly, goofy Great Dane just happens to accidentally wander in and starts doing battle. Like, well, I don't think that it would do battle. I feel like a Great Dane is so silly that if they wandered, can I get them to turn around and fight me? Yeah, I got one of the raccoons. All right. And there's Dane. So we we jumped in. Apparently we have an achievement now, which is awesome. We just jumped into this battle cuz why not? But that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? If like a great Dane accidentally wandered into a uh, a cat gathering and warrior cats. <laughs> and then the next thing you know, okay, was this a cat after all? I don't know. It's flying around the place. I want to know what it is. Is it a dog? <gasps> it's a cute little pit bull. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. Don't take this personally. We're just going to like tell you you got to behave in your territory. And we're not actually going to, we're not eating the dog, okay? We're just getting experience from the fight. That's what I'm going to say. 
<laughs> All right, well, that would be really cool, actually. A fun little story where, like, a helpless Great Dane just sort of accidentally wanders into this big gathering of cats. And uh, I've actually had that happen kind of with my dogs before. My uncle had a Labrador, really adorable Labrador named JJ, and he was super friendly and sweet, and he was very, very good with cats. He had been raised with cats his entire life, and so he wasn't, uh, he wasn't bad with them. He was also just very, very gentle-spirited for a dog. Um, I've, I've had dogs that really, you, you couldn't trust their prey drive around smaller animals, but JJ, you could do anything with JJ, and he, he would not lift a paw, he wouldn't snarl he wouldn't do anything just the the most gentle of dogs and i know that didn't look very gentle against dogs but again we're gonna say we didn't actually kill and eat the dog we're just we wrestled a little bit but anyway with jj he was so gentle and so we didn't think twice about having him in uh our bedroom once when one of the cats had had kittens and she was inside of her laundry basket with her babies because JJ would never hurt the babies. Oh, are those golden eggs? You guys, we found some golden eggs. Sweet. Nice and stinky golden eggs. There's one of the things we needed to find. It looks like the golden eggs moved around the world. So hopefully they'll just reappear. It looks like the Pitbull family is guarding another golden egg and the other boss is guarding another one. I don't think we'll be able to get all the golden eggs with our Danes just yet. But anyway, story with JJ and the cats. Super gentle dog. Really awesome, really sweet. One of the best ones we've ever had, to be completely honest. And uh, we didn't think twice about having him inside of the room where the baby kittens, just brand new, less than a week old, and their mama cat were. And mama cat and baby kitten, that was Rose, the mama cat at the time. They, or mama cat and JJ got along wonderfully, usually all of the time. Oh, that Rottweiler's breaking the rules. He's trying to attack people. You can growl at people, but you can't attack a Rottweiler. Dane's gonna come in. He's gonna tell you what for about this, you know All right, but <laughs> So we didn't think anything about having JJ in the same room with the mama cat and and they've got along great We really thought it would be fine and then JJ made the decision bless him to go ahead and stick his head into the laundry basket just to see just to give it a good sniff just to see what all this little tiny baby mewling was about um with mama cat and the babies and mama cat did not like that and rose rose attached herself with all four paws and all of the claws all like what is that like 20 claws all four paws and 20 claws were embedded on jj's head and he started screaming and running around and the cat just clung on for dear life and wouldn't let go so she is stuck on him and like freaking out because he was like coming near her babies and we had to get like rose off like pull each individual claw off of poor JJ to get uh, Rose off of JJ. But oh my gosh, it was one of the most dramatic moments we've ever had. And I felt so, so bad for poor JJ. He never asked for that. And it was just an innocent mistake sticking your head in when a mama cat had kittens. And we were, of course, we were super careful after that, but it just, they had never had problems. So you don't think about it. <laughs> But that was my story about what happens and, and you know, he still was fine He was really scared of Rose for a little while, but he was still fine around cats It wasn't like he got like more afraid of all cats He just really avoided Rose and didn't go near that laundry basket for like ever But it just I'll never forget it because dogs are always depicted in fiction as being really aggressive and constantly chasing cats and rah 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 and then if a cat attacks then all gloves and paws come off and the dog's gonna like growl and it's so dangerous rah run away from the doggy but actually even then even when JJ had this raccoon is just swimming in midair that's fine but even when JJ was fully within rights to possibly be very upset about cats for a little while he still didn't get aggressive and he was just a fantastic dog so in my head that whole rambling story is to say i can totally imagine a innocent kind very goofy great dane just wandering right in and getting into all sorts of trouble because they walked right into a warrior cats meeting i could totally see that happening and then then of course if you were doing this as a proper roleplay story you would have to question 
How could someone have let this dog get past the perimeter? Also a Dalmatian! Our first Dalmatian friend! Oh, I'm sorry, we've gotta like say we're taking control of your territory. It's not personal, I just wanna have puppies. But there we go. So yeah, let me know if you guys have ever thought about what would happen if a not aggressive but completely goofy dog would wander into a warrior cats meeting. And that's the story <laughs> that was born from the unexpected events of what turned out to be raccoons and pit bulls, but breaking up a, a meeting of cats, a secret meeting of cats with Dane Stone today. And also, guys, you may have noticed that, unfortunately, we did indeed level up to level 10, and we did not get a new slot. So it's going to be level 15 before we are able to have Dane and Fawn have puppies. And that begs a lot of questions, like how should we get our levels? What is the best way to level? Also, where are we? I think we're lost. We were just chasing raccoons. Oh, what's this? Another aggressive beagle! I don't understand why the beagles are always so aggressive. It just cracks me up. But all right, we might actually go ahead and start adventuring with our beagle friend or possibly our um, German Shepherd friend next time. And then we'll come back and we will continue raiding trash and breaking open those doggy pinatas when we are working with Fawn and Dane, trying to get them up to level 15 now so that they can hopefully look forward to having some beautiful babies but we'll have to see what happens when we switch levels and we can now become a beagle or a german shepherd and eventually we'll become a mastiff a bull terrier a sheepdog a rottweiler a labrador and it'll just turn night vision on right now but the french bulldog also <gasps> We've unlocked the Merle coat! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Fun, I can't wait for you to have a Merle baby. I would be thrilled about that, actually. I would absolutely love to have, okay, this is Harlequin by the way, but my dog Zoe was actually a silver Harlequin, or like a silver Merle is what they're called. So she she looked a lot more like this. And I cannot wait to be able to have like, she looked like really, really, her fur was super silver and then her spots were black. So I'm actually super excited to be able to have a uh, silver Merle Great Dane, but Fawn is going to remain Fawn colored. And then we'll start adventuring in different places next time, I think, with each either the Beagles or the German Shepherd. As we continue, it seems like this is Vaughn's territory, to wander on over and explore this side of the city streets and then maybe even start exploring the wilds as a fierce pack of tiny baby beagles. So I'm actually really looking forward to that. I think that'll be a lot of fun. And I really hope we'll be able to find plenty of trash cans and better ways to level up so that Fawn and Dane, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there it is. It's been too long, flying cars. I have missed you. Thank you. It wouldn't be an experience in this world without you. Oh my goodness. There we go. Warrior cats meetings and flying robot cars. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Now that we have seen that it's just business as usual in this neighborhood, I will see you guys next time when we will try out being either a baby beagle or a fierce great or German shepherd, excuse me, ready to defend the dogs of the deep city. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.